Good morning. Welcome back to weekend number four. Working on the Jeep in preparation for Moab. We're going to jump right into it today. Um, at this point in time, I have four weekends left before we leave. So we're going to get started with the redesign of the transmission cross member. Going to be replacing the control arm style bushings with actual motor mounts. These are a rubber motor mount. This should absorb a lot of the vibrations a lot better. I thought that the control arm bushings were gonna work fine, but I just find the cab rattles too much. So we're gonna go ahead and try these. So I'm gonna wanna get done before we go. I have the transfer case shifter ordered. So as long as that shows up within three weeks, we're good. Today, I want to get the transmission cross member figured out. Still got a bunch of little things that I need to do on the Jeep. The uh, wiper linkage is broken, need to fix that. Got wiring on the inside. Gonna have to get all the shifters, transfer case shifters out of the way, make room for the new shifter when it comes. And then I still have to either figure out or fix a trailer. All right, so we're gonna get all the shifter linkage out of the way. Then I'll pull the cross member off. I gotta see where I have room for those rubber mounts on the frame. Uh, get those situated. And over here, I gotta bring it back because as of right now, this bar interferes with the drive shaft drop. I have it limit strapped to fix that, but I could get a little bit more down travel if I move this mount further back. So we'll put a bigger jog in that. We'll just, we'll make it up as we go. That's part of modifications and custom built stuff. If you don't like it, don't be afraid to cut it out and start over. So I'm thinking this is gonna go something like this in here. Can you see that? Yeah. Over here in this area, again, have something built off the frame. Come over here, mount that. Couple of uh, ears come off that. Go over this, bolt that together. Then that'll allow a little more movement there. And over here, I think I might have to come. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do over here yet. We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, I'm gonna go get a safety stand, place under the transfer case and we'll get started. So first of all, I need to see where the transmission is. Take a few measurements. So we have two and a half inches from the transmission to the bottom of the frame here. And back here at the transfer case. Gonna go across the frame to the weight at the back of the transfer case for the drive shaft bolts on. And we have two inches there. I'm gonna drop that down, see how that feels when you're building custom stuff. It's all trial and error, and you can't be afraid to say that you did it wrong and you gotta redo it, because it happens. Interesting. How did I put that together? I don't remember. That was two years ago. So if you guys would like to see a video showing everything I've done up until episode one, um, let me know. I do have a few uh, cell phone clips from when I did the TDI swap, when I built the 231 doubler and I put this thing together back in February to May of 2021. So I could probably throw together a quick little video. It won't be super great quality, but 
it'll kind of give the full backstory as to how we got where we are right now with the Jeep and the reason for the TDI and everything that's been done so far. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments. I can uh, try and throw those clips together in somewhat of an order that makes sense. There we go. So I decided to go with JB Fabrication Custom Shifter. Uh, it's a dual stick shifter. Should work really nice. It, uh, it's just one of the ones that mount directly on the floor. The cables come through and I'll have to make up whatever I need down here. I think this one that I already have made might work. And I just got to make one for the 231 crawl box, which would be pretty easy. Lots of room down here for that. Can't wait for that thing to show up. That's like one of the last major pieces for the trip. That'll fix the transfer case, staying semi-engaged in four-wheel drive. Again, I'm glad that was an easy fix. All right, now we got that off. I'm going to take the tension off of that and unbolt the transmission cross member. Loud noises. Wrong size. There goes all the spacers. Oh, there's one more. Now you can see the 241OR case, the DIY 231 crawl box, and then the transmission. Because I put the TDI in it, I was able to move the entire drivetrain from the transfer case forward ahead the eight inches that this takes up. TDI four cylinder is a lot shorter than the straight six that used to be in there. So I moved that up. It gave me tons of room on the firewall. It made the transmission shifter a little bit tricky, but I bent the uh, shift rod, made all that work. All right, so much room for activities. Gonna do a little bit of brainstorming and then bring you guys back in once I have a solid plan. Okay, so after a couple hours of uh, trying different things and just trying to uh, figure out the best way to do this, this is what I've come up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's gonna work. Got the mounts mounted to the frame. Again, everything's just tack welded right now, so it's not finalized. Still have to build the uh, plates that come off the side of this and up to there that bolt in. And I did have to cut out the glass pack which is fine, I don't think the glass pack really did much. I'll reroute the exhaust around and then over to the muffler. Just got those. They bolt in so they're completely replaceable. We'll make the plates off here. Coming over here, this is where it got tricky. So this is quarter inch angle iron. This is not going to bend. I left enough of a lip there. It keeps the strength. Come back here. It actually is going to tie into the 231 crawl box. I got to uh, make another tab that comes over here, catches this bolt as well. So it'll grab those two bolts, give that support. Comes across here, off the side of this, and then again, got to make the plates that go up to that mount. No, it looks like a bunch of scrap metal, but it's going to be super strong. And I have tons of room for the drive shaft. There's also plenty of room for the drive shaft to drop further, which I was limited to by my other cross member. Tons of room. And there's tons of room to get out the bolts. Well, it's a little overkill. That's all right, it's gonna be plenty strong. Nothing wrong with built too heavy.
Well, that made a huge difference of the vibration inside the Jeep. So I'm very happy about that. That was completely worth it. And if you like have a better overall product now with the transmission cross member, it uh, ties in back here as well. A little more uh, support for all this. There's a lot hanging off of that. It did take the better part of the entire weekend, but it was worth it.